Hello everyone, Abram Diaz here. I'm back. We're back covering still on discipline one. This time we're covering shot number four. So we're in discipline one, trick and fancy. Shot number four, C. And this has a nine point value based off of a first attempt connect rate. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up. We're gonna execute it. And I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves watching these videos as I enjoy filming them. Let's get down to it. Setup takes a little while, so bear with me, but it's all worth it in the end. Uh, what I like to do is you wanna start off with a, a standard butt. I like to use one that doesn't have a wrap. The reason for that, assuming I under hit the shot, the wrap, um, the, whether it's leather or linen, doesn't, doesn't have the tendency to slow the ball down. We're gonna take our, our cue stick butt, we're gonna wedge it underneath the rail, underneath the short rail. The pin of the, of the, of the, the cue just meets with the pocket. Then we're gonna take four off blocker balls, and the first blocker ball is frozen to the cushion at the half diamond mark. Then we're gonna have a one ball spacing between the rest of them. Our eight ball is gonna hang in the pocket. I like to hang it nice and deep. We're gonna take our rack and we're gonna butt it up against the, the foot stream and we're gonna, not the foot, the, the short rail. And we're gonna have it right up against the pocket point. Now this is important. Pay attention on the setup with these four balls. We're gonna take our one ball and we're gonna put it in centered in the pocket and flush with the cut of the slate on the pocket. We're gonna take our two ball Our two ball is gonna be frozen to the one ball and then staggered slightly left so that the, tan the line of tangent points to the left half of the pocket. Our three ball, we're gonna freeze it to the two. And the line of centers between the two and the three points at the left half of the side pocket. Then we're gonna take our four ball. Our four ball is frozen to the three and the line of centers between the three and the four points at the right half of the side pocket. So these balls are not in a straight line. They worm out. And the reason for that is lots of players will put this setup in a straight line and it is possible you can make the shot with them being in a straight line. The only problem you run into is when that three ball banks, you tend to get collision. So in order to avoid collision, and there's a couple things that can cause the balls to collide. It could be the setup or it could be your contact point on this 2-3, on this but I like to eliminate the collision factor and rely off my tangent lines and lines of center to, to guide the balls in. Your cue ball placement is very important. I'm gonna put it on one diamond past the side pocket and I'm gonna put it in line with the split, but then I'm gonna favor slight right of the split. So favoring the three ball a little bit, just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do on this shot is hitting two tips from center at one o'clock. I'm gonna aim for the split, but I'm actually gonna be favoring the three ball by about a quarter ball hit. What's gonna happen is the one ball is gonna go on the side, the two ball is gonna go in the corner, the three ball is gonna bank back into this corner, four ball is gonna go in the side pocket, cue ball 
is going to stutter back into the short rail, spin forward into the butt of the cue, avoiding the contact on the blocker balls, and I'm going to pocket the eight ball in the corner pocket. And th there it is. Now, I was actually kind of hoping I would have missed the shot because there's an adjustment I want to show you. And I'm going to show it to you. Now, now bear, bear with me. Now, let's, let's assume... Now, let's assume for a second that when that ball squirted forward, I clipped the 10 ball. Which, coming into these blocker balls can be a real issue if the cloth is brand new. Because the cue ball is going to slide out a little bit more before that follow takes. So, you got to know how to adjust for it. I'm going to show that to you. Now... I have my, my preferred cue ball placement. Now, if I shoot it and I'm hitting that blocker ball, any of them, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my cue ball to the left. I'm gonna put it directly in line with that split and still maintain the, prop, the same contact point. The contact point doesn't change. I'm still gonna be hitting one fourth, hitting the split, favoring that three ball by a, by a quarter ball hit, but I'm just moving the cue ball a little bit more to the left. And if I'm still hitting that blocker ball, then I gotta move it even more. Now I'm favoring the two ball, but I'm still aiming for the split and favoring a quarter ball hit on the three ball first. That is the first ball that's always gonna be contacted. Now, if I'm still hitting that, that blocker ball, that clipping that first blocker ball, then I'm gonna take all the side spin out and I'm gonna hit just 12 o'clock. And if I'm still running into that ball, cause believe me, it's happened. I flip the page and I pick an alternate shot, which we will get into my alternate pick much later on in this segment. So remember, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you like what I'm doing, and uh, take care, guys.